Hi, I'm Devin Okander from New Image College, and we're here tonight to watch the first year's performance of Dog Sees God. I'm super excited. Yeah. Woo! I played Beethoven, who his young peanut character is Schroeder. And in this play, Schroeder is an outcast. He's by himself. He's gay. He's in love with Charlie Brown. So he's kind of got all these elements working against him. And I just found, like in the character, I found that he was OK being himself. Yet there was still that fear of just actually kind of coming out with it. And I think that plays in with Charlie Brown's character who is trying to find himself in this play. Like He's trying to find his identity. He doesn't know. Like There is a bit of a romance between Charlie Brown and Beethoven. And so I think it's like just finding he's OK with it. And then he's like, it's cool to be different. And I think it's just, I think for me, the biggest connection is just being yourself in this play. Uh, I got to play CB, which is great. Um, a, lot, a lot of work went into it. My character is going through a struggle. He just lost his dog, Snoopy. Snoopy got rabies and he ended up killing Woodstock and I'm kind of dramatized by this whole event. And then um, I, I start asking my friends what they think. None of them are really giving me any answers that I want. They're all kind of making fun of my dog's death in certain ways and it's really uh, hurting me. And so I, I go and I, I talk to Beethoven um, uh, in, the, in the play and uh, he tells me that my dog goes to heaven. That's what I wanted to hear. You know, I really wanted to hear that my dog was in heaven. And uh, so I end up falling for Beethoven. It's just a dude. So I go through the whole struggle of, of whether or not I, knowing whether or not I'm gay or not. And um, it's, it's just a, uh, you know, a cycle, a vicious cycle, the whole play. Because I fall in love, and then my love dies, and my dog dies, and, and uh, I'm confused that to who I am at the end of the day. So you're you play Marcy. You're friends with Trisha. And can you, well, tell us a bit about her. Well, she's BFS with Trisha, obviously, inseparable. <laughs> kind of follows Trisha along, I feel like, anyway, when I read the script, I feel like a lot of her opinions are kind of based around Trisha. Like, she has her own opinions, but I think a lot of the things she says and a lot of, the, like, her opinions are, like, from outside sources or from Trisha sort of deal. So there's that. And... <laughs> Here with Robert Fahair, the Fahairest of them all. Don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Don't hit me. I, I get it. He's a funny guy. Van is a special character. He's a consumer of cannabis. Oh, alright. Yeah. A connoisseur of sorts. A connoisseur, I would say. Okay. Yes. You know, he's a Buddhist. He's like really chill. And I've noticed he's one of the few characters in the play that doesn't really have, like, much of an identity crisis. He just sort of... That's very true. ...does his own thing. Yeah. He's definitely uh, an intense guy. He's very cleansy, and he hates germs. And apparently, he hates homosexuals. So it was fun and challenging at the same time. Um, very uh, emotional for me. As much as it was fun, you know, it, it's uh, it's tiring, and you know, you, you don't actually. I guess after you kind of feel like really bad for doing it, but at the same time, it is theatrical performance, and uh, that, that's what you know. That's fun about it. You know, you get to go those places that you don't wouldn't be socially acceptable in real life. So. Yeah, and you, you put your soul into it, man. It was really cool to see. I played Van's sister, also known as Lucy. Oh, mm -hmm. cool. And can you? Can you tell us what's happened to Lucy? It's just so funny, I love this. So Lucy grew up as a psychiatrist, as she so says, and then she kind of just went a little off the walls, did some bad things to innocent little girls, and is now paying for it in a psychiatric By that prison. you mean you yeah. lit their hair on fire? I lit her hair yeah, on okay. fire, yeah. Okay. I play Trisha, who okay. is Peppermint Patty, all grown up, and uh, in case you couldn't guess, she is a lesbian. And basically, she, she doesn't let anybody really know. She keeps it to herself because she's the popular girl. And she has to be the popular girl. And she has to keep that kind of status so she doesn't let anybody know because she knows that as soon as anybody found out, she'd be at the exact same social status as Beethoven. 
and so she needs to like keep the social status so she's not going to let anybody know. Who are you in the show? Oh, I'm playing CB's sister. Uh, she's Sally in the Peanuts gang. Okay. So she's a really fun character. I loved her so much. I'm falling in love with my character every single day. Every show that I've been, I've been doing here, I, I become in love with her. Yeah. English is not your first language. No. No. I wish. <laughs> not at all. So well, that's really interesting. How did how does that sort of thing figure into the rehearsal process and how supportive is everyone else of that kind of thing? Oh, I have to say it was hard. Like when yeah. I got the text for the first time and Rogue made us to read through and circles for the first time, so okay, I'm gonna do it, but I didn't know almost any of the words. The, the monologue? Oh my god, it was like, what is platypus? What is caterpillar? What is this? So I kind of have to put a lot of effort on my work. Mornings, afternoons. Oh my god, almost all my day just rehearsing, translating, getting into really? it. Yeah, really. It, 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 I would not have thought it. Really? Honestly, it was you. You. It was fantastic. Really? Thank yeah. you. So, whew, that was a ride. That was one heck of a show. Congratulations, guys. It was absolutely fantastic. Now, if you want to check out some more stuff, check us out at www.newimage.ca. We have some awesome videos and stuff up that you can check out. Cheers.